Now, they are hailed as the future of cars and a way to curb pollution in our cities and to cut global warming. Plans to increase the number of electric zero-emission vehicles developed and produced here in the UK will be set out by the Prime Minister today. Theresa May will promise £100 million for research into new batteries and low-carbon technology in a speech in Birmingham. Tom Burridge reports. Dirty air is one of the big problems of our time. So today, a Green Vehicles Summit in Birmingham, where the government is saying more about how it plans to get more of us to drive electric. This past month, August, the figures show one car in 12 sold in the United Kingdom is a low emission vehicle. Now, that's the early days, but it's accelerating rapidly. And my sense is that we're going to see over the coming months and years a real uptick in the desire of consumers to get a low emission vehicle. The engineers and scientists in Britain working to develop these vehicles are in a race. There'll be more government money and investment from industry because improving the technology behind e-vehicles offers huge economic rewards. Now, if you buy one of these, about a third of the value goes on a crucial piece of technology. It's not this, the motor, but what powers it, the battery. These robots at Birmingham University are learning. Their artificial intelligence will allow them to take apart an electric car battery. Those teaching the robots are part of a team, researching how electric car batteries can be safely recycled. They argue pioneering science and engineering like this is crucial if Britain is to lead the way. The manufacture of vehicles is one of the success stories of British industry over the last uh, couple of decades. Um, if we are not at the forefront of the, the transition and the revolution that's about to happen, then those jobs uh, and, and all the benefits that come from them could disappear. But up to now, virtually all of their funding has come from the European Union, and industry wants guarantees that our government will be able to plug the gap. We must have real commitment to replacing European funding in our universities. We've seen some very valuable steps on Horizon funding, for example, in the short run. But this kind of industry requires serious investment in battery charging, in the new kind of technology that is going to drive these cars of the future. The investment funding in our universities must be there, and we do need to see more. Going green needs global solutions. And today is a British pitch about how the government plans to be part of an electric revolution. Tom Burridge, BBC News in Birmingham.